Today I'm going to show you an example of how Piper substates can solve a common machine problem. We're making a 3D printer. We need to turn a heater on and we want to do an extruder calibration on startup. We can block the progress of states until something's done, like a heater. We want the heater to heat up before we move on. For the heater, this is really simple. We first request, say, hey Piper, I want this substate. Then we turn on the heater. Then we say, hey Piper, I want this state next. And it says, okay, cool, I'm gonna go do other stuff. And oh, we're at a preheat. Now we're gonna wait until the heating's done. This chunk of code doesn't know anything about any other modules that might be talking to Piper. Only Piper knows about them. Now you might be thinking, what, like, when does this state happen? When does this state happen? That's defined in this enumeration. We have a list of a bunch of states and the order in here is meaningful. So if we go to our HMI, here you'll see information about the task and what the task is doing. So when I enable, extruder does its calibration, heater does its preheating, now we're ready and our motor is powered up. When I hit reset and then enable, we ex do the extruder calibration, then the heater. Think about the 3D printer, we want to heat and then extrude, otherwise we're going to be trying to jam cold filament through bad things are going to happen. And all I had to do is reorganize this enumeration, and now we have completely new machine behavior. If I hit enable, we heat, then we extrude the hot plastic, then we turn on the motor. And again, our extruder code doesn't know anything about our heater code. We could add a whole other task in here that had states that happened between, before, after this, and they would all coexist with Piper and maintain their modularity. And that's really cool. 